I've come to an epiphany based on some things I've been reading. Ultimately, the arts of both the polearm and the sword are just the art of hand-eye coordination. Ugh, it's a little difficult to explain. If you want to know more, come with me to Wangshan Hall. But first, you have to promise me you won't laugh. I used to like rabbits, but I'm more a fan of stags now. To me, the saying, may my final stand be a monument to chivalry, is about abandoning worldly possessions and reaching enlightenment. But the stag's final resting place represents the hope for life anew. Oh, how I'd love to see it again. I have great respect for Lady Beto. I just wish she wouldn't call me kid and ruffle my hair each time she sees me. In her capacity as the Tianchuan, I am obliged to respect her. Otherwise, it could create issues for my father and brother. On a personal level, let me think. I think I will go with no comment. I shan't speak ill of others. Ah, dear Chung Yun. Though he understands me quite well, one has to exercise caution when teaming up with him to go on a quest. He is making good progress in the martial arts, but I would say he hasn't quite internalized the chivalric code yet. He needs more practice. <laughs> Especially at eating spicy food. When Yunjin drinks a beverage she is fond of, she will be inspired to write a new play. So, I keep a jar of tea leaves under my bed at all times, ready to deliver to her on the day that her inspiration dries up. This way, I shall never run out of heroic tales to listen to. Ah, yes. The young lady who is now the master of the Wang Shen funeral parlor. If you're asking what I think about her as a person, well, there are all sorts of rumors about the way she works. But I think if you really want to understand someone, you need to find out what they are really after. I've always thought there is more to Chi Chi than meets the eye. But it's impossible to have a conversation with her when Baiju's around. Hmm. We could wait till Baiju makes a home call to one of his other patients and corner her. When you first spot Xiangling out and about, the first thing you should do is check the look on her face. Especially when she's just coming back from collecting new ingredients. The more excited she looks, the more dangerous it is to approach. Because if she sees you, she'll force you to taste test her latest concoction. I usually get Chung Yun to handle these situations. <laughs> Where does Xin Yan perform? Anywhere from Chuho Rock to Yujing Terrace. No spot is untouched by her disruptive presence. A quiet day when I can curl up with the good book is a rare treasure indeed. My father and brother entertained that gentleman as a guest once. From the way they were acting, he must be a very high-profile figure indeed. I also heard that he directs funerals for the Adepti, so he must surely have great depth to his character. We should do some digging and see what we can find out about him. Your schedule is free today? Wonderful. I am ready to leave whenever you are. My book? Oh, never mind that. I can always pick up where I left off when I get back. But those in distress who need our assistance cannot afford to wait. You feel inspired, you say? You want to write a martial arts detective novel based on our adventures together? And you want to call it the Chronicles of Wanwen? <laughs> it's a good idea, it really is. But I'll have to decline. I'm sorry. Yes, really. There is a cause that I seek to champion. Yet few in Liyue share my aspiration. This I have known for a long time, for it is a path I have walked for many years. <laughs>